This old crone, I'll see you in hell! Someday I'll crucify you! Nico Bellic. Yes. Good name. Good name. Where's Dimitri? He's busy. Uh, he said he had something to do. Something. Something. Let me tell you something. Me and this guy, we were in the army together. We were in prison together. We are like brothers. Now it's always something. Always something. Always something, yes. You want a drink? No, thank you. Well, I do. Yeah. You all right? What? Mr. Fauston? No! I'm fucking angry. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me ask you something. You know her? No. Good. Because if you did, I'd fucking kill you. Why? She's my daughter. Ungrateful bitch. I bring her here. I spoil her rotten. Raise her well. Look at this. Look. Look what I've given her! Yeah, yeah. She's uh, very lucky to have such a loving father. She is. She's an out of control bitch. Because of you, you pathetic mess. But I don't accept my daughter turning into a whore. Nico. She's at Firefly Island. Go there. If she's meeting up with that bike pimp boyfriend, get him. Find Dimitri for me. Okay. Have him call me. Sure. Go. All right. Ivan, it is good you call. I gotta stop talking to myself! What the fuck are you, idiot? Ah, short! than all the brothers would get to share. I want you all to myself. Get away from Mr. Faustin's daughter. Fuck you! This ain't Russia, and we ain't communists. Tell my father I can see whoever I like. I'm gonna get the brothers, and we're gonna kick your fucking ass! Into an empty, tedious sales pit. It's an electronic slot ship. Move up the food chain in your office and be a
I've killed the biker. I don't know how happy your daughter will be. I don't care about her happiness. I care about discipline and loyalty. Thank you, Nico. Roman! NB, what's up? I don't know, this and that. I've been hanging out with little Jacob. You two are friends now, this is great. I thought you'd get along. Is that because we're both violent criminals, cousin? No, <laughs> it's because you both get along with me. You're more than just a violent criminal to me, cousin. You're a human being. Speak to you soon. Hello? Hello. Uh, is Mikhail home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me. That I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I, I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> after you walk into a village and you see 50 children, all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Ма. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Oh. You stupid oh. bitch! Oh. <laughs> Nicobelic baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. Uh, what did you want? Uh, I want you to teach people to listen to you me. You want him to get us the money. Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So, what do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Schuttler on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here. Roman, is your cousin. Any yeah. chance of getting a cab? Anything for you, NP. It should be there soon.
attack on the city. Luckily, I see you have taken a time out from romancing every animal in the zoo to abuse the generosity of your cousin. Great! To Montauk Avenue, please. We better get this over with. I don't want to trouble you, but uh, I would prefer another radio station. You got the worst taste in radio stations I ever heard. Roman is real lucky to have you working for him. Your customer service is impeccable. You want to know about my customer service? You ask one of my female passengers. They'll tell you I service them good. Great. I'm sure that must be good for you. It is good for me. Real good. I love that shit almost as much as the bitches do. And I tell you something. The women are actually paying for their rides, not freeloading like a certain ugly Eastern European immigrant scumbag I know. If you didn't have your cousin, you wouldn't have anything. How come you too lazy to start a business like Roman did? I might not work either if I was getting all the money and free rides I wanted from my cousin. I look after Roman. I help him out. Sure you do. You help him get into trouble. I know your type, homeboy. Don't think I'm not streetwise, Holmes, because I seen shit you couldn't imagine. For real, my friend. For real. Okay, then. For real. Yo, what's up? Now get out of here and don't trouble me again. Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, think of the explosion. It should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful to drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Bye, bye. Up. I'll catch you later, cousin.
О, блядь, все подпало, пожар, блядь, все пошло нахуй. Но, мистер Петрович, this was definitely not an accident. Все нахрен. My whole fucking business. Cost you a dollar to touch these packs, bro. I've blown the place up, but don't pull that shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy. Hasn't anyone got any balls? You as Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me. It's a town on edge as people wonder if their father, best friend, or even this is spouse is a sex offender. The problem is you, the news media. So what if a man pleasures himself in public? Sometimes you have to take care of business. Nico, it's Roman. Come and talk to the Rudnik. That Roid monkey? He is a good friend of mine. I'll be a good friend of yours too if you let me. Anyway, he's got some work and we are in need of money. Meet him at Bruce's executive auto on Mohanad in Eastwood. If Mallory calls you, we are bowling together. See you later. Both images are out of date. Outlaw motorbike gangs such as the Angels of Death and the Lost are engaged in...